Hey everybody, Brock Frady here, helping you enjoy your ride. In today's video, we're gonna take a look at a 2016 Honda Accord Touring. This is about the happiest bird I've ever heard in my life. You are so cool. I honestly hope that little bird keeps singing during my filming. It has a 278 horsepower, 3.5 liter V6. It makes that horsepower at 6,200 RPM. It's front wheel drive. It's mated to a six speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy is 21 miles per gallon city, 34 miles per gallon highway, and 26 miles per gallon combined. The fuel tank capacity is 17.2 gallons, and the range that you're gonna get in the city on a full tank of gas is gonna be about 361 miles. On the highway on a full tank of gas, you ought to get about 584 miles. The height is 57.7 inches. The overall length is 192 5 inches. Wheelbase is 109.3 inches. The overall width is 72.8 inches. For front headroom, you have 37.6 inches. Legroom in the front is 42 and a half inches. Rear headroom, 37 inches. And rear legroom, 38 and a half inches. Those dimensions for front and rear head and legroom are actually really close to each other, so you're just about as roomy in the front seat as you are in the back seat. That's a very generous back seat. Check it out, heated rear seats. The cargo room with the seats folded up in the up position like they are now is 15.5 cubic feet. Good size trunk. And those rear seats do fold down. See the latch there? And there's another latch there to fold the left side. And all that carpeting that you see that lines the trunk all the way from the top to the bottom, the main function of that is gonna be for sound dampening to reduce road noise from the rear wheels. The four dots that you see on the back bumper, that's park assist. It has dual exhaust, LED tail and brake lights. Backup camera. This little tab right here, that's what you're gonna push while the key fob is on you in order to access the trunk or to pop the trunk. Or I think it also works if the doors are just simply unlocked, even if the key fob's not on you. The suspension system is four wheel independent with front and rear stabilizer bars, leather interior on the inside, eight way power driver seat with lumbar. The front and back seats are heated in this one and it's multi-level heat you have high and low. The front windows are one touch, it says auto, on those window controls for the front windows. Automatic, one touch up and down. Does not apply to the back windows. You can also see there you have your lock and unlock. Then there are your mirror controls there for left and right. Memory seat settings for up to two drivers. And I love the wood grain there. Can you see the detail in that? I don't think it's real wood, but it looks really nice. It also has adaptive cruise control, electric power steering, the rear view camera that I pointed out a little bit earlier, Keyless ignition, so you just touch the button with the key fob on your person, and you also have to have your foot on the brake to start it. Steering wheel audio controls. You also have steering wheel cruise control, lane keep assist, your information display right there. That's gonna display on the dash there around your speedometer area. Bluetooth controls, voice commands. There's a lot of information that's accessible just from your fingertips right on that steering wheel. LED turn signals that are integrated right into your mirrors. This mirror here is electrochromatic. All right, class, let's say that all together. Electrochromatic. Some of you actually say it. And that just means that it can dim automatically if someone comes up behind you at night with the brights on. The stereo system is seven speakers. It has a 360 watt speaker system, speed sensitive volume. That means as you speed up, the volume can increase. As you slow down, the volume can decrease. The tires are 235, 40R19, and they are V-rated. The front brakes are ventilated. There's a channel, and you can see the, the channel there in the middle of that brake rotor, and air passes through that channel in order to cool the front side and the back side of those disc brakes to reduce brake fade. The rear brakes do not have that channel. They're known as solid rear disc brakes, not ventilated. It's got a one-touch power sunroof. Another couple of safety features 
our lane departure warning with accident avoidance system and pre-collision system as well. Our little bird friend is back. Thanks for coming back, guy. You add a little fun to the video. Now all I need is an afro and a canvas and some paints. I can be like Bob Ross, our little bird friend. Here is your key fob. On the top you have lock, below that is unlock. To the left below that is remote start. To the right is the trunk. Below that is panic alarm. There is a removable portion from this key fob as well that allows you to use it as a physical key to unlock the driver's door in the event the battery in this dies. You can also operate the glove box, putting personal items in the glove box in the event that you need to valet the vehicle. You could then take this key out, give this to the valet driver, and they would not be able to access your personal items inside the glove box. Hit the top, lock it, and you notice that these beautiful LED lights light up whenever you do lock it. Very nice. And then to unlock the doors, you press it once, that unlocks the driver's door. Press it twice, it unlocks all four doors. Here's the 3.5 liter V6 engine that produces 278 horsepower at 6200 RPM. It has a six speed automatic transmission and it's front wheel drive. The engine oil that you use is zero W20 and that oil is fully synthetic. That means you only change the oil every 10,000 miles. You definitely want to rotate those tires every 5,000 miles. You want to know how often you need to open that when it's hot? Never. There's your engine oil dipstick, windshield washer fluid, battery, air box, brake fluid, nice little stabilizer bar there across the engine compartment. The headlights and turn signals there are just fantastic. All LED and futuristic looking. It looks like it's what's on the Acura NSX. Those are super bright too. take a look at the back lights. The rear of it looks really impressive too. I really like how the tail lights have those kind of like stripes, horizontal stripes going across like a LED light. See that there? And that how it wraps around the body. Really good looking. The interior is luxurious and sporty. I do have to say, I think this Accord would be really nice on a long trip. On the left side of the steering wheel, you have your steering wheel audio controls. This is a multi-information display so that when you hit this button, information on that top display pops up and it allows you to navigate that screen. Menu, when you press that, you see a menu that pops up there on that same display we were just looking at. Bluetooth controls with voice commands. When you press main here, it changes the display that's in the center of the speedometer. Can you see that? And then this keypad is your cruise control, and this sets the distance for the radar cruise control there. It can change the distance. And that changes the distance. What I mean by that is that's the distance that the vehicle will maintain between the front of the Accord and the bumper of the car that's in front of you when you're using cruise control. Accelerate, decelerate for your cruise control. This is gonna be your uh, lane keep assist here, lane departure warning. When I press that, I can see that icon pop up there. Looks like lanes on a road. And then you have information button here. You can see vehicle settings, all kinds of different settings there. And then I can just press the arrows down and it's all kinds of different settings. Then I can press select in the middle and there's calibration, TPMS is tire pressure monitor system, driver assist system setup. I can press select there, that's forward collision distance, free running car detection beep, display speed, road departure mitigation, lane keep assist, and then exit. So that's how you set all those up. So this is how you can change all of the driving and a few of the safety things and basically the, the driving personality of the vehicle. It's how you can change that around to make it your own. This is gonna be your fog lights and then you have automatic lights here. So this is where you can cut the lights off manually, parking lights, automatic, headlights on all the way. I would recommend leaving them in auto. When you press the end of that stalk, and that's looking out, the camera that's located down there, you can see the little cutout. See the little shape there at the bottom? 
of that mirror. That allows me to see into the other lane while I'm driving and you can see there are little red bars and that is basically kind of like an enhanced blind spot system. I love that. Excellent feature Honda. Wiper stalk so you can see it has automatic rain sensing wipers and so that will adjust the uh, level of that. The default is off so I can go up that's missed. It came back down to off. Auto is there, low, high. Pull it toward you to wash the windshield off. The panel that we're looking at now is in front of the driver's left knee. At the top is the economy button and that's gonna change things around to make it more fuel efficient. And on the bottom left, we all know you're big and bad with your diesel Dodge. On the left, lane departure alert. To the right of that is park assist. That's the sensors that I showed you on the bumpers. Top right, traction control off. And then below that is pre-collision system on and off. In the center of all of this display here, at the top, that is gonna be the settings menu that you can change around all kinds of different settings. And you can do that from the steering wheel. So here in the center between those two climate control vents, is going to be all kinds of different settings and that has to do with navigation, phone, smartphone, Honda Link, info, audio. So you can go map, that's going to display the map. Nice 3D graphics. Where do you want to go? You can plug in your destination here. Where to? Very cool. I like how it's just real intuitive. You want to go eat? You need to get gas? You want to go to a specific place? Honda dealership? Home? Really intuitive. Audio? So there's your audio system. Preset stations, tune and seek, nice and easy. Tune specifically, whenever you hit tune, it basically goes up to the next um, digit in the, on the FM dial or AM dial. If you hit seek, it goes to the next station that it can find. It also has HD radio, taking advantage of the full FM bandwidth of any FM station. You can hit scan, then you can press source if you want to go to a different source and look at all these different sources. Pressing home again takes us right back to where we were. You can go settings and change around all kinds of different settings there you want to. This is basically how you're going to make the car yours. How you can put your fingerprint in the very specific settings for your vehicle. Let's hit vehicle. And these are all the things that you can change around. I would really recommend spending some time in these screens and in, in settings uh, to really get to know your vehicle. No, I can't. I can swipe. I love that, how you can swipe the screen or you can hit the arrows on either side. I like this too. You can actually take this and push up and push down to change the volume. See that? or you can hit plus or minus. Climate control system is here, dual zone climate control. So you can see red arrow up, blue arrow down, and the same thing on the other side. And that means the driver controls and the passenger controls for temperature. When you press auto there on the left of where it says 66, that makes it work like the central air in your house. So you just set whatever temperature you wanna set there. When it says sync, it will maintain the same cabin temperature for both passenger and driver. You can take it out of sync by pressing one of these buttons. And when the passenger wants to control their side independently of the temperature of the driver, Mode allows you to control the fan direction. So when you press mode, you can see that's defrost and foot here, and it'll change the modes around. I like also how it gives a confirmation in that upper screen. You see that? I'm pressing mode right now. That's pretty cool. And then fan speed, control man manually controlling fan speed. AC, recirculate, and then heated mirrors and for the back glass, and then that's for the front glass for defrost. I like how everything looks slick. You see how that's like a piano black trim? It's, it's really modern and slick looking. I don't know how that would hold up to scratches or anything, but it looks pretty. And then here's your transmission. So when you put it in reverse, backup camera there, and it has dynamic grid lines. You see when I turn the wheel, that grid moves to the left or the right. And then I can change the view, you see that? So I can press here. Looking straight down, 
narrow angle, wide angle. Okay, everybody, that's just gonna about do it for the 2016 Honda Accord Touring V6. What a nice vehicle. Let me know what you think about this car in the comments section below. Also, I would love to hear from you as far as the vehicles that you would like for me to review for you. If you like my style of just showing you kind of the basics of how everything works and giving you information that you would need if you wanted to look at the car at a car lot or if you own one of these, it could be helpful for you as well. If you'd like to see a certain vehicle, let me know in the comments section so that I can try to put that on my list. I want to do videos that are based on what you want to see. Thanks again for watching everybody. I hope this helps you enjoy your ride. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and I'll be happy to create fresh content for you. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. Have a great day everybody and remember, enjoy your ride.